Okay, in this video, what I want to do is talk to you about if you've got parts that you want a production check and you want to write a program where you've got a dedicated uh, fixture, a dedicated spot where you put these parts at. In this case, we've just got three bolts that are in there and we're going to take, let's just say we've got 200 of these we want to take. We want to take them, put them in. We may even want to put a locking pin on it if we're worried about it moving. And so we're going to production check these parts. So let's write a quick little program to check a few items on this. Now we're not doing a manual alignment. We've got a dedicated alignment. The dedicated alignment will be these pins. When I say alignment, I mean like a fixture, a point. We've got to put this part back on this table at the same spot six months from now when we get ready to run another batch of these. So I've got a program called Full CNC with Alignment. We're going to go in here to Learn Mode. I'm going to enter through the first three boxes. So the first thing I want to do when I when I go to repeat this program, I want that thing to take off running. I don't want to have to do anything. I don't want to have to touch the joysticks. I don't have to do nothing. So I'm going to cut. I'm going to hit machine, CNC on. And you remember, once I CNC on, we've got to remember to hit these go to points. So we're going to do. An, we're going to let the machine do an alignment because it's a good idea to do an alignment before you start checking anything. The last video we talked about a manual alignment and the machine went back and redid my manual alignment because it hits, it, it does, it hits in the same vectors, it hits the same pressures every time. So I'd rather have the machine do the alignment after I did it. This time I don't have to do one other than in the learn mode when I'm writing it. So I'm going to go up and hit a plane. We're going to do a plane line line. And let's see. Graphics. I want to check. I, I wasn't the last one to use this. Let's change that to four. Uh, top apart. Hit OK. Keep in mind we're in we're in full CNC mode. So. We don't know where it was parked at last time. I know it's a little close here, but I did it for video purposes. So I'm just gonna come up here and say, I want a go-to point right here. So when I start this program, it's gonna go to that point. Because I got a clamp in the way, I wanna come over here out of the way of the clamp. I don't want it to come down. I'm gonna hit go-to. Now I'm just gonna start measuring these Touching off on the top of my part. I'm doing my plane. All right, you remember we have to do coordinate system, align base plane. We want the one, a base plane one, which is called the top of the part. Now I want to do a line, uh, front side of part. That sounds like a good one. I just want two hits. And let me make sure these other, these other items aren't needed. Okay. Remember, we've got to do some go-to points. We need to hit here and then here to establish our X, Y direction. So let's come over here. Let's get a go to because if not, it'll drive from that point through the part. Come down, measure. We need to come up, go to, over, go to, to avoid our clamps or our bolts or our fixture or whatever. It's down. Okay, we've got our line. We need to do a coordinate system, a line axis, parallel axis. That's the one I want. 
We've got to do another line. So we're going to come up, go to, over, go to, measure, awful close up there, go to, go to, measure, Okay, so we want to create a point. We want an intersection point, and it's going to call it origin, and it's between line one, oh, line one. Oh, I thought that said front side. It said right side. Anyway, it was the front side. Okay, so we've got a point here. You can see it on the screen. Now we want to call that point origin. Well, it's already called origin. We want to establish it as origin. So now we have an alignment done. Now let's just measure, just measure a couple things. Let's measure a circle. We don't have a, let's call it uh, back left. We want four points. I don't want the tolerance. We'll put that in in a minute. I don't want auto. Some people like to use it. I, I generally don't, but maybe we'll talk about it at some point. So we're gonna go over here. So again, I like to come up, go to, I like to establish kind of right over the center of my circle, hit another go to before I drop down. Come up. Go to. All right, if you notice the tolerance block popped up. So let's just say, uh, what is this hole measured? Uh, it measured 31229. So let's just say the nominal was 3125. 0.3125. And let's just say that our upper tolerance was, say it was a ringed hole. Uh, let's just go plus 0 0.0005. Lower tolerance, minus, 0.0005 and we want it to measure our oh, wrong button. I also want the X coordinate. It was 65155. I, I don't have the blueprint, but let's just say it was supposed to be 650 in the X plus or minus two. And let's check with the Y too. The Y was 1.85011, so let's call it 850 plus or minus two. Whoops, I think I went too far. And minus 0.002. And let's just say that's all I want at the tolerance on this. Hit OK. So you can see it immediately, I call it radius, but it immediately said that my hole was out. Oh, no wonder I've got that set in radius. Anyway, that's the gist of it. I've got it set in radius rather than diameter. But the X location was right. The further, the further the green is, the closer you are to, to, to getting 
out of tolerance. If you got very little green, you sitting almost right dead in the middle. So it's just a quick visual. Okay, so let's measure another circle. Maybe I can get the radius right on it. So we're gonna call this uh, front left. Okay. Don't forget, you're still in CNC mode, so you need go-tos. We established a go-to here. Let's do another go-to right here. Drop down in there. Measure the hole. Come up. All right, so what is this circle? It is... 2955. Five. That's what I did. I put the radius instead of the diameter. So let's change that to diameter. Point, what was it? 2955. Five. Let's just say the hole's supposed to be 29. Let's just say it's supposed to be 29.295. Two With plus a half, minus a half. Let's say our X was supposed to be one inch, 1.0, plus two, minus two, and our Y was supposed to be one inch. And that's the distance from this theoretical corner right here. And okay, there we go, it's in diameter now. That's what I forgot to do. So you can see my diameter is oh, it's almost pushing out of tolerance. 2955 or 2950, it's right at the upper edge. See, I got plus or minus a half a thousandths. It's a half, 2955, so it's a half a thousandths. Uh, it's, it's right on the border, but my X and Y look good. So once we get that done, now we can go through a whole myriad of checking. I mean, you can have a five minute program to check distances, slots, depths, from heights from here to here. And it works the same way. This video is all about a dedicated alignment. So let's, let's park it. Let's go home because we need to avoid that clamp. And then let's just park it back here somewhere. Now we're going to hit, oh, also you can, I, I don't know what I told y'all on the last video, but on this video, I want to let you know, you can export it in an Excel spreadsheet. Uh, I think I said that word document, but Excel is what do we normally use. So here we want to do machine CNC off. We want to shut our program down. We want to save our part program. Okay, so we got done. We just wrote the program. Now the, we got a stack of parts over here. We, we want to come in, throw it down, put a little clamp on it, just so it won't move. You may, if you're doing Measurements in here, you may have to avoid your clamp. You got to think about that. Now you should be able to go in here and repeat mode. So this is just for production checking. Go ahead, okay. As soon as it reads that CNC on, it should take off. And hope I didn't crash it. It's doing the alignment. Now it's gonna come up and measure this hole. Ah, crashed it. Anyway, so let's, we've written that. So I mean, it's a good time to show you this. You can hit repeat command and physically pull it up. And it should continue on. Of course, I got a bad program. So that's the only thing wrong with this program. Okay, so let's go back and fix this. All right, we can look at the results. Click in here. You can quickly scan up and see your results window. 
But anyway, let's go back and fix this. Let's go into editor. And we know it is right after the hole. That's the, the circle, right after the circle. Move, 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 measure. Let's see, one, two, three, four hits. Tolerance. So we, some in, somewhere in here we need to come up. So let's go in here. Uh, I think I can insert it here. Change, where is it at? It's a move command. Element. Nope, machine, move. And I'm going to put in these same dimensions. 0 0.788. 1.88. But however, in my Z, I want one inch. So it, it's going to stay in the X and the Y. But Z, I want it to go up before it moves to here. If that makes any sense. Uh, let's close it. Save it. Run it again. Uh, let's see what happens. That was, uh, I, I don't want to have to rewrite this whole thing just for one mistake. If I had 10 mistakes, yeah, I'd rewrite it. But if I've got one mistake, then I'm just going to try to go in there and edit it and figure it out and hopefully get it right. It's going to tell the tale after this last of these four hits. Ah, there we go. Now, it, it was a little convoluted. It, you know, I didn't have to come up that far, but I'm just testing. Now, if I wanted to shorten and tighten this up, I could go back to the editor and change that one inch to 200 thousandths. You know, if I'm really worried about runtime, if I got a thousand parts, I may want to tighten some of these go-to points up. Um, but if I got 100 points, I'm gonna be fine. So then what you do, take it off, grab one out of the other pile, stick it on here. And quite frankly, we don't need this clamp because it, it's not moving, but if you did need one. Um, we didn't put in a repeat command, we could have. You would hit, hit this, repeat mode, and then take off. We can put in a repeat command, so you just load it and press click OK and it starts. So anyway, that is uh, a dedicated alignment for production purposes and I'm letting the machine align it first on every part before it takes off getting measurements. So I thank y'all for the ones of y'all who have subscribed to the channel and I hope this is helping you out. This may not be the most efficient way of running the CMM, but it is a way of running this CMM. Thank you.